All right, uh, 9b is basically just a continuation of 9a, and the only thing we're really changing is we're going to have a loop. So we can ask information for uh, as many different customers as we want. So we just uh, will have uh, a sentinel value, and we'll enter that when it asks for the account number in order to exit that loop. So I'll just kind of scroll up here real fast for that and then we'll go over to the flowchart and start here. So it's basically set up the same way and we're going to uh, ask for the account number and to account for however many people we want to <clears throat> we'll just make sure that as long as the account number is not zero we'll ask for their name, purchase price, um, monthly payment for the next two years and of course the book is going to have something different to so change that number there and then we'll output their information. And we'll ask, of course, for the account number again so we can check for another person. And if, if you type in a zero, then we'll stop. So it's, it's pretty much just like the other one, and we're just adding a loop. Uh, let's see here. If there's anything I need to point out, and I don't think there is. So the, the pseudocode just, you know, follows the flowchart I'll look that over. I don't think I have to go into too much explanations about what's going on inside of here because we're in chapter five now and I feel like everybody has a kind of a good grip on how the pseudocode works and what each part of it means. So we've got, an, a, uh, let's see, an account number and a name. So let's use first, last, purchase price. Um, Maybe they have $200. And so their monthly payment for the next uh, two years is going to be $8.33. And see, now we're being asked for another person, another account number. So, first, last, and then purchase price. Um, let's say the balance on their account is. 3000 So every month for the next two years, they'll be paying $125. And then Sentinel value and program. It's really not that difficult. Uh, again, just a continuation, and we're, we're only really adding a while loop. So that's about it, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.